Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own and this is my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500 with a 4 inch rough country lift and 17 by 8 Vision D window steel wheels. And one of the most common questions I get about my truck is, what size tires do I have? So in this video we're going to answer that question, what size are my tires, and in the process you'll learn how to find your tire size for your own truck car or SUV and we'll put these new Chevy valve stem caps on the truck real quick before we get started I just want to remind you to check out the playlist for this truck at the time of this video I have 41 videos of this truck so if you think this is a honey of a truck like I do then make sure you watch some of the other videos I'll put the link in the description below okay so where can I find my tire size the tire size for your vehicle and wheels can be found in two places obviously you can look right on the tire and if we get up close to the tire here we can see that this tire is a 265 70 R 17 113 T that is the size of these tires the other place you can find at least the factory tire size for your vehicle is the inside frame of the driver's side door via a little sticker. This truck is so old that that sticker is long gone, but I'll put a picture up to what one typically looks like. And you'd either see it right here on the door, or I don't know if on older vehicles they were on the, on the inside here, but either way, the truck's missing it. That sticker, whether it be on the door or in the frame here, would give you your factory tire size. Actually, if we take a look at my Beetle on the inside door panel, we can actually see that exact sticker. So yeah, there it is right on the door. Okay, so now you know where to locate your tire size. You can either find it on the driver's side door uh, or on the actual tire itself. So now that you know the tire size, what does the tire size actually mean? So the first three numbers of a tire size measures the width in millimeters from sidewall to sidewall. Using my truck as an example, my tire size is 265-70R17. The width of my tire is 265 millimeters. If we take a look at uh, one of my front tires from the back here, we can actually see the exact width of that tire. That's what 265 millimeters of width would look like for this light truck tire. We learned that the first three numbers of a tire size measures the width. Now let's talk about aspect ratio. The two digit number after the slash mark is the aspect ratio which measures the tire's cross section to its width, how tall the tire is. Okay, if the tire size is 265-70R17 like my tire is, the 70 means that the height is 70% of the tire's width. The bigger the aspect ratio, the bigger the tire's sidewall will be. Between the aspect ratio and rim diameter is the construction of the tire. Let me give you a close up of that. So here we got those first three numbers, 265. Here's our aspect ratio, 70. And then we have a letter R. So we're gonna talk about what that letter means right now. I'm using my truck tire size as an example. So if the tire size is 265-70R17, the R stands for radial, which means the layers of the tire run in straight lines across the tire. If there is a B instead of an R listed on your tires, the B stands for bias construction, which means the layers run diagonally across the tire. Talk about wheel size. Located after construction, that's the R, is the wheel size, which tells us the size of the wheel or rim that the tire is intended to fit and is measured from one end of the wheel to the other. Using my truck as an example, if the tire size is 265-70R17, the 17 means that the wheel is 17 inches in diameter. And if we actually get up close here, we're looking at another tire, so it's got like a little paint dot on there, but if we look up close, we can see that 17. And that lets us know that this is a 17 inch steel uh, Vision D window wheel. Okay, next let's talk about the load rating index. To support the weight of the vehicle, each tire is assigned a designated number that coincides with the maximum weight that the tire can support when it's been inflated. Back up on the tire here and get nice and close. We can see here, we can read the tire 265-70R17. Then we got a number right here, 113. That is the load rating for this tire here. So let's talk about that number. So for example, if your tire size is 265-70R17, 113T, the load rating index would be 113, meaning the load in pounds 
would be 2,535 pounds, uh, and that's how much the tire can support when it's inflated. Actually, tires will even tell you that right on there. If we actually get up close here, we can see that it says down here, it says max load. Uh, it gives you 1,150 kilograms, which translates into 2,535 pounds. A high tire load index means the tire can hold a greater load carrying capacity. If you purchase a tire with a lower load index than what is recommended for your vehicle, the tire will not be able to carry the weight of the vehicle. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the speed rating of a tire. A tire speed rating indicates the maximum speed capacity or limit at which your tire was designed to perform. Although the speed rating indicated the max speed capacity of the tire, this number does not imply that the tires can be driven on safely at its maximum speed, especially in harsh road conditions. So let's get up here and take a look at this number again now. So we got all our numbers here, 265, 70, 17, we know the 113, and then we've got the T. This letter T is the speed rating for this tire. If your tire size is 265-70-R17-113T, the T would indicate the maximum speed capacity for the tire, and that would be 118 miles an hour. There are tire speed rating charts online to help you determine the max speed for your tires if you don't know them already. Okay, so that was it. Now you know the sizes of my tires. Now you know how to find your tire size. You know what the tire size means and everything. Let's put these uh, Chevy uh, valve stem caps on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. They're small, but it's just those small little touches that make it look right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out the playlist for this truck.